The internet as a technology arena moves quickly. Um, right, whatever problems you think you're going to solve right now might not still exist three years from now, and they definitely won't exist six or seven years from now. Uh, so whatever you're going to do, you need to have a very short ramp between when you start planning it and when you start selling it. This drive toward TTM, time to market, really does not leave a lot of room in the budget or the schedule uh, for any thought about testing. And so you know, here we have these ubiquitous devices, whether they be smartphones or uh, wirelessly enabled light bulbs in our houses, whatever. Uh, they are ubiquitous, they are complicated, they have maybe some life safety implications, certainly they have some uh, financial privacy implications, and they receive less testing than devices that have been with us for decades or, or longer. Now, so for example, you can't sell a car in most countries if, unless it has seat belts, but there is nothing like that for your smartphone. A recent example, about six or eight weeks ago, there was an internet-enabled light bulb that uh, had a vulnerability discovered. Uh, it wasn't really a, a terrible vulnerability. It's not that, you, that a malicious person could make it explode and burn your house down, uh, but a malicious person could get from your light bulb your wireless password. So even though you thought your wireless network was secure because you had uh, this, this encryption key, it turns out your light bulbs are ready to rat you out to anybody who asks them. Now, um, I observed three things when I heard about that. First, we don't have a list of who owns these light bulbs. So to the extent that we'd like to notify them that their light bulbs are defective in this way, we can't. Um, the, most people don't fill in the product registration card when they buy a light bulb. Uh, the second thing is these light bulbs probably don't have enough computational horsepower to be upgraded, right? The software that was burned into them is burned in ROM, read-only memory. Not, it's, it's not something you can uh, overwrite in the field. And the, the third is that the company itself probably has no plan at all for upgrading that software. Right? So they, they may not even have the source code. They may not, even if they had the ability to use the upgrade to you know, populate their, or to, to upgrade their light bulbs, which they don't because there's no data path, they don't even have the engineering team to do it with. And that is where we're going. If we're really going to have an Internet of Things, then we're going to be spending maybe a nickel on the logic that goes into a light bulb. And when you're spending that low an amount of money, you're not going to be spending a great deal of time thinking about uh, what happens when something goes wrong. And we're about to go from an internet of a few billion things, like smartphones and laptops and whatnot, to a few hundreds of billions or maybe trillions of things. And when you talk about orders of magnitude and growth, you really need to look at, well, what will happen if it all looks like those light bulbs? I, I believe we're going to need some kind of QA standard. We're going to need uh, some stamp of approval, similar to what Underwriters Laboratories does for a toaster oven, uh, so that before a device can be sold to consumers, uh, the consumer will know to look for a certain sticker indicating that somebody somewhere tried to break into it before it hit the shelves. Uh, because otherwise it's going to hit the shelves and the first person trying to break into it will be a bad guy and the likelihood of their success will be very high. This will have to be driven by the buyers. So ultimately the, either the end user consumer who's thinking about buying a certain uh, you know, fancy wristwatch that's got a computer screen uh, or whether it is a uh, corporate buyer trying to come up with point of sale technology for their retail counters. Uh, they should be looking for some evidence of testing, and right now they're, they aren't. Uh, right now they're looking for some evidence that it will work at all and that they can have it in time to open before Christmas. Um, so we are going to need this to be driven by people who would prefer to buy things that are well tested.